the quote, find something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. What do you think about that quote? It's kind of true. It's my work is my play for the most part. Oh, there's obviously, you know, with film, then there's a, a, the whole side of it of scraping the money together and then fighting with forces that want to change it. Uh, fortunately, I've got the best producing partners I've ever had in my life right now, and, and we're going to be doing more projects together. But were there ever times when you thought, you know, I may have to do something I don't want to do? And you saw your dad work these different jobs. And I think when people have that early memory of a parent going somewhere that they didn't like to go to, I think that really sticks with them. Until I got into <clears throat> real estate development, that was true, but then it was no longer true. That I had this side thing that I could rely on. If the market wasn't good, okay, we're, we're going to get a $7 wine instead of $20 wine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Well, the market's not, I mean, it's cyclical, so. I, I, I've, been, I've been through boom and bust. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, and, I've got formulas that protect me from oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you've learned that, okay, like, you know, as of today, who knows where we'll be in three years? Yeah. Today's one of yeah. those sort of, we're in, we're in a sort of a shaky time right now. So when you know we're coming up on that, how do you say, okay, I still want to do my creative stuff, but I have to sort of protect my backside? Well, the other way to look at it, there's a time to sell and then there's a time to buy and things go cyclically. Sure. And I have the special voodoo powder that I put around the properties okay. that protects them. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. And a, a dance that I, I do. I have to wear a clown suit <laughs> under the full moon, smoke a cigar. <laughs> um, what do you have to do for your art? God, that... What do I have to do for my art? If, if, if you, on your IMDb, you have a quote and you, you put, and, and it's probably from another paragraph, but you just put, you have to do these things for art. What are these things? God, I don't even know where that quote came from. And I don't own it. And I don't know who put it there or where they heard it. Uh, it just might have been some quip. It, my film Forbidden Zone became a cult hit. And uh, every couple months I go to some different city and I, I've got a screening and I put on a live show and I'll even cook after yes. and, um, you know, do a Q&A. And I've said so many thousands of things at the Q&A. I don't know where that one came from. Okay. Well, we'll have our intern. Someone said like, you know, did out. you have to suffer to get those suits in Forbidden Zone? Like, yeah, you have to do things for art. You know, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, yet another quote that you said that sometimes a film has legs so is that something you can orchestrate or that's where the audience decides whether well, okay here, here's forbidden okay i'm a stage director and i'm a musician and the mystic knights of the oingo boingo was changing from a 12 person commedia del arte troupe into the rock group oingo boingo so i wanted to just preserve on film what i'd been doing on stage so i took 12 musical numbers from the stage show and they just threw a plot together and the film kind of came and went over a summer, uh, offended a lot of people. There were arson threats at theaters. I was in a theater where there was an arson threat. New Beverly, Quentin Tarantino's theater. We had to, everyone cleared out, fire department came. Film disappeared. Uh, it's on video for a little bit. Music rights weren't cleared. It's pulled. Now it's gone for 15 years. I didn't know that it was on college campuses, went like wildfire with bootlegged things, whatever. And then when I put up my first website about 10 years ago, I get tens and thousands of hits and inquiries from all over the world from fans of this film that I thought had disappeared. So it, that's what I meant it has legs. Right. So when you know that something is controversial, we don't have to go into the reasons why really, but when you know that all of this has happened. How do you, what, what are you doing the next day? Do you remember that when, when you found out all, you know, with the music rights, people are upset. How are you then saying, I'm going to still continue to be here? Well, I'm kind of a damn the torpedoes kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have a vision of what I want to do mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I, I mean, I just did a film. I'm very happy with it. I'm about to do another film.
But have you ever had times when, I know you grew up here, so it's not like you're going to pack up and go home somewhere that's not, you, you're from L.A., but where you say, you know what, I'm going to quit all this and, you know, I don't know, start a farm somewhere, just just get out of this this crazy town, or or is that never entertained your Never, never. entered my mind. Okay. And I, I could go to Cuba and play in a Latin group and be happy. So... <laughs> 